Hello everyone, it's Melissa and I am back. I have a video share of my July Project Life. And since this is a summer layout, as you guys know, this will be a two page spread. And so um, it's a total of 36 pockets for the um, baseball ATC size pages I use that I get at Hobby Lobby. Okay, so let's get started. I will give you a, um, sorry, I'm trying to adjust the light here, a close-up of the cover, <clears throat> or page one, and then I will talk about it. Okay, so the first pocket here, I ended up finding in my stash, this is super old, crazy old, from Queen & Company, it's a felt border, and honestly, oh my gosh, I don't think I've ever used it. So, you know, I don't know what made me pull it out. I was looking for something else in my closet and there it was. So I had a totally different idea for this and voila. So I just went ahead and glued it on with uh, Tombow liquid glue and then I put some yellow enamel dots in all the little holes. And I cut it down. This is, of course, my regular, like always, um, cut from the Cameo, the Silhouette store. So... Uh, this next pocket is a Snapchat, and then I just added some star stickers, um, glitter stickers that I got from Walmart. Uh, this this picture is reading dark, but I, I didn't alter it with a filter just because um, in person it's very uh, visible to see. But I stamped Fun in the Sun, which is actually from a um, Studio L2E one of their summer sets and I used throughout this two page spread you'll see I used a Tim Holtz chit chat and also my typewriter per usual and then just trying to go through my my mind's eye and October afternoon and those types of thing word stickers so you know all stuff from my stash uh, these firework stickers are from my stash they're just clear stickers again using more word stickers this is me going through trying to use up that Allie Edwards freebie that I got, AM, PM, the chipboard. This is a photo uh, that I sliced in half, which I do usually do um, in the summer months because I'm, you know, not struggling to fill pockets. That's not the word, but I'm more wanting uh, to make it different and use up some more space as far as um, that goes. And then one of the things that you're going to see throughout this month is, um, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but whenever I'm like watching a, um, a let's say specifically an Allie Edwards video, she takes something like and uses it throughout the whole spread. So essentially I got a freebie from Ellie's studio and uh, it was their days of the week chipboard and I wanted to use all I just cut this in half so it fits in my storage thing. I wanted to use all of the days of the week that they had. So that's what you're going to see throughout. And I used every single one of them. So, uh, for instance, this today piece of chipboard, that's from there. Um, this is just a sticker with um, a golf ball and a tee. And then this is a, these are fun, clear Mambi stickers. This, whose idea was this, is a stamp. And that is from... Uh, it's not new, but it's not terribly old either. It's from Honey Bee Stamps, and it's called Blah Blah Blah. So I, I got it some time ago. But And then this is me using my Technique Tuesday um, cutout die. And I just added a circle punch with some paper and one of my anchor brads. As we were at the marina and the boys were having fun. Here's another one of those chipboard pieces. Beach Life is another piece of chipboard. That's from Freckled Fawn. Excuse me, these hearts are from Walmart. Just one of their stickers. Okay, so I'll do a close-up of the back side. This would be page two. Okay, so here, uh, this is from Ellie's Studio. This was a, uh, it wasn't a freebie, but... Uh, I don't know, a while back I bought from Jen Scow. She was giving, like, she was doing a huge sale, and she had tons and tons and tons and tons of stuff. <laughs> and she was just bundling it up, and so I bought her 
um, kind of foodie package, so to speak. It came with stamps and uh, wood veneer and acrylics and rubber pieces and all kinds of things. And one of them is a circle lunch thing, um, uh, like acetate piece. And I went ahead and I put it through one of my dies to make it more of like an arrow. Um, and then I just used my Tim Holtz tiny attacher. And you guys have seen me do that before. Um, let me see if the die is here. Give me a second. Oh, yeah, here it is. I don't think they still make it, but it's the Studio Calico. They might. Nested nested tabs or something like that is called. Nested nabs. Anyway, so that was that. So I do that quite a bit with a lot of circle elements because uh, I just want to change the, the orientation of them. So I do that a lot. And this is Snapchat, so... Um, Anyway, so this next one, this is a Mambi sticker. This is another um, LE Studio chipboard. This is another Mambi sticker. This is a Freckled Fawn chipboard. And let's see. So this next one is you know, just like a sports, just a clear sticker. And then here's a bunch more because I wanted to document with the chipboard, you know, my daughter's on this team, um, but it's an everyday thing. You have practice every single day. You have meets after practices sometimes. It's a, it's a full thing. It's a full six weeks of like total dedication. And so she loves it, but it's, this was a nice way for me to just kind of bullet out every single day of the week. <laughs> so, um, a, this is another piece of chipboard from Freckled Fawn. Uh, this today was a piece I don't remember what it was from, to be honest. I think it was an LA studio. I just put it on with a staple. Um, you love this. So this U was a Mambi sticker, part of some other sticker. You know, you guys have seen I cut them apart to make them work for me. And then love this was just another sticker. So I just combined the two and then added two heart Mambi stickers. Uh, here's a fun Snapchat. Another chipboard day of the week. Um, more of me using... Um, my word stickers. This love is a Project Life card cut apart probably and this is a flower sticker I had in my stash. It's just got some fun glitter on it and that's just a yellow enamel dot. And then golf I used um, just some like uh, alpha stickers and then another day of the week and then a Mambi sticker. So that was page two. Okay this is the next part. Here is a once over. This is going into a road trip that we took. So I documented it on a Project Life card with my typewriter. And then this is just a clear sticker from a travel sticker set I have. Here's another day of the week chipboard. Another Mambi clear sticker using my typewriter as usual. Here's another um, clear sticker. I love these clear stickers. It's, you know, if I'm not using a clear sticker, I'm usually using a stamp with my Onyx Black VersaFine ink. Uh, here's another day of the week. Uh, we went and actually visited New Salem, so it's a fun little place. These two pictures go together. Um, here's another sticker. Uh, these are some fun epoxy splashes, and I usually use them whenever I'm documenting a swim page or, you know, that type of page where my kids are in the water, and so that's what I did here. I used alpha stickers to spell out times and then fun was a clear sticker from Mambi and just a puffy heart sticker. I can't even handle the cuteness as a Felicity Jane stamp with like I mentioned Onyx Black VersaFine ink. You, you're going to need to test your ink with your photo paper so if you guys are wanting to know what ink to stamp on your paper I buy this HP paper from Walmart um, and it works great. I just need it to dry for a couple minutes. Um, and it works great if I stamp with this. So yeah, you just want to test out your ink and your photo paper. Um, and I print at home. So that's what works. Uh, here's another day of the week chipboard. This family, this is actually from a, um, it's not an element sheet. It's a piece of pattern paper. And on the back is from Jilly Bean Soup. It's one of their, um, travel collections on the back has, um, well, I'll show you what it looks like. So I have it right here. All these elements, um, these are part of my speech bubble and flare 
and um, sorry for that noise. And so this was the one side, and this was the back side. It's called uh, spicy social soup. And so there was a bunch of these elements, and you know, you guys know I like to um, make my own flare badges. So this has just got an epoxy bubble on the top. So I ran it through my Technique Tuesday die. Uh, nice catch. This is actually, so something to keep in mind as well is um, when you're going through your stickers, like, you know, um, this happened to be from a sports clear sticker set as part of like baseball or something, football, whatever. But nice catch was fun because, you know, my son's fishing and then I just used a cork arrow. Um, so then here's the other side. And you know, just still trying to use my stash. So this is an October afternoon sticker. Um, I've got maybe two left, so that's good. Um, enjoy the simple things. It's just a cut apart sticker, two pieces of cork um, for my stash. They're just hearts. Uh, what a day for a daydream is actually an October afternoon sticker. I put on the top of the photo, added in a like puffy heart. Uh, this cherish this, I wanna say is from Ellie Studio. And, um, so a reason to smile, Fry Yay. So a reason to smile is from Felicity Jane and Fry Yay is from Heidi Swap. Both stamps stamped with the Onyx Black Versafine ink. Here's another piece of chipboard from um, that set. Here's another two, uh, four by six cut in half and then another piece of chipboard. And then here comes Trouble as a clear sticker. And I just put it on sideways because this picture felt very, um, like, graffiti-like. We were at the lighthouse by um, the beach by my house. And so I just put it on here crooked and then put this on crooked and then made these elements crooked. So that's a... <coughs> mm, God bless me. Sorry about that. That's a clear sticker. And it's actually super old. I don't know where it's from, but it comes... It was in a boy collection. Um... So just like, a, a, again, thinking about the versatility of all your stickers. Um, this is just my daughter and um, her little, one of our cousins. And then um, the best food is right here. This is so every Sunday we go to their house. They live on the beach and we hang out with um, family and they do a fish fry and it's just so fun. Um, and then the last day of the month, my son, he's losing teeth like crazy. So another one gone. And um, he's past the age where he will allow me to photograph him with his tooth because um quite honestly he's got his doubts about the tooth fairy so <laughs> he's 11 so um yeah that's just a struggle i'm willing to let go of so um here's another one so if you guys have any questions of course as always feel free to ask me in the comment section below and i will do my best to answer them and um yeah sorry if this video was a little fast i was just trying to get through it i've already started on August so it is September 10th and I am just plugging away having my kids back in school and back into the swing of things is um, very helpful for me and my to-do list as most moms can relate um, whether you work or stay at home so I will put my social media links in the description box below. You can find me at Cutting Up Creations on Instagram and Facebook. And if you like this video, I would love a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos and have a great day, everyone. Bye.